let us start with another part of painting that is perspective very important part of painting perspective as we have talked about the space division perspective is also very much important and rather i must say perspective and space division are interrelated let me show you something on this whiteboard if a person is standing over here For an example, this person is standing over here and looking towards this particular part. He is looking towards lots of bubbles. Oh my God, it's a huge one. It's coming towards him. Here is another one. Just beside him. Here is another one, just beside him. More or less, they are almost of the same size. Now, the man is looking behind this particular big bubbles. See, the size is gradually reducing. He is looking a bit more. The bubbles, size of the bubble is reducing. He is looking forward. It is reducing. He is looking towards this side. He is confused. It's reducing. Here again, it is reducing. He is looking towards here. It is reducing. The size. Again, it is reducing, it is reducing, it is much more reducing. As it is nearer, I mean from here it is nearer, from this one to this one, it has become a large one. So as you can see, there are lots of bubbles over here. And the person who is standing in this particular area, looking towards this particular point, the bubbles which are in front of him are bigger one. The bubbles of the same size, which is away from him, gradually looking smaller and smaller. The size of this bubble and this bubble is equal, but it is to this particular person looking as if the size is gradually reducing. This is called perspective. Perspective means creating a three-dimensional effect on two-dimensional uh, space to give an effect of depth, effect of width, effect of relationship between the two between the objects that are being placed on the particular space to have an idea about the the uh, depth of the particular painting that means if perspective are not been or rather is not been used in a painting with proper space division the painting cannot be a good one now you can see I have created lots of bubbles over here, here, here and here and I have left this particular place with little bit of bubbles. This particular place is being left alone so that again space division and perspective have has got a very good close relation in between them without these two things. A painting cannot be a good one. This is 
the first part of a beginner to learn about perspective related to space division. If space division and perspective are properly being set up, it can be a very good one. We will give some other examples. Well, my friends, here I am going to give you some other examples on perspective. As we have talked about the relationship between space division and perspective, now let us concentrate on perspective only. Let us put aside space division. Let us concentrate on perspective. Then we will again, I mean, uh, mixed up the space division along with perspective. Now, on the on this particular whiteboard, we have three boxes. One, I am standing here. It is in front of me. Second, it is a little bit away from me. Third, it is further away from me. And the fourth one is much more away from me. The most important and the most funniest thing is that this particular box and this particular box is identically same size and same width but due to the magic of perspective we can see this one as a smaller one and this one as a bigger one. This is actually perspective does on a painting. Actually perspective helps to make an illusion rather I would say an optical illusion to the viewers so that they can see the thing going away from them, moving away from them or coming or moving towards them. Now let me go to a painting which has got this particular perspective on it. Here is a landscape on a particular canvas which is a rectangular one. As we can see there are number of objects in this particular painting. First of all there is a big tree lying down on the ground, a vacant space, then little bit of houses one, two and three, then number of big huge trees behind and then the sky. So one, two, three, four. As we can see this one though it is not as far as the size of this particular uh, part of the tree is concerned cannot be bigger than this height of the house but it is looking bigger than this one as because due to the perspective it is in front of us. Now next to it the house. The house is this particular house and this particular house are side by side. That is why they are looking more or less more or less of the same height. It is little bit lower than this one. It can be happened. This, uh, the two houses side by side of the same identical space can be little bit higher and little bit lower. Again this one this particular house. This particular house is more or less a bit nearer than this one and that is why this particular height of this particular house is looking a bit bigger. Now I am going to the trees behind. As far as the trees are concerned, these trees are looking big because they are much more bigger than they are in reality to show to cover the space as I have told you before the space division to cover the space these particular trees are being drawn over there these trees are covering the space now here again I'm coming back to space division and putting perspective together perspective space division see perspective and space division. They have been totally matched up with each other to make a beautiful painting. See how this particular space has been left alone 
and how the things are being put together with by help I mean by using perspective as well as by using proper division of space well here is another example of perspective see this particular painting a landscape once again most of the people I have heard that they use whenever they see a landscape they use the word scenery well it is not scenery it is always a landscape you must know the terms proper terms of paintings so this is a landscape see the perspective here you are standing for an example if you are standing over here and the road is moving away from you it is moving away from you from here bending here and then bending over there and when it is going away from you it is gradually narrowing so this particular narrowness of this particular road and this particular broadness of this particular road has created a difference in this particular painting how the whole thing is being on a two dimensional base a three dimensional effect has been created the tree in front a tree away from you just see only with the uh, use of perspective the three dimensional effect can be created on paintings and as far as the space division as i have said before how beautifully the space division has been applied just see little bit of touches on this particular parts only been given most of the part are being covered up with grasses and everything and these particular parts have been left alone to give the space uh, i mean uh, breathing space for this particular painting and here also little bit of space are been left alone to give some more breathing space for this particular landscape it actually varies from painting to painting so my dear good friends in this particular class we have gone through two different part of painting first of all we have talked about the space division the division of space in a particular painting then we have talked about perspective and i have shown you how perspective and space division are interrelated not as an advice but rather i will ask you those who are the beginners especially those who are interested about paintings to see this particular episode for number of times if you go through once you will find nothing everything will be spoiled at least 3 to 4 times see it try to put it in your mind and then only you will be able to understand what i am trying to relate to you about this uh, about paintings through these particular words space divisions as well as perspective and then don't stop see other paintings of different painters and try to relate what i have said to you space divisions and perspective if you can relate those words with those paintings you will obviously find out what i have said you that space division and perspective are related to each other and are much more important as far as painting is concerned i hope you will look through you will gone through this particular episodes for number of times and you will be benefited through it thank you very much